Hey everyone, welcome to Discover Dance UK. I'm going to show you today how to do a belly dance hip twist, okay? So the belly dance hip twist is normally done at an angle, uh, and it looks like this. And you can add a uh, kick with it, yeah? So I'll show you firstly on a front angle. So you need to be able to isolate the hips separate to the body. So uh, you want to unlock the knees, keep the spine really straight, have your typical belly dance posture, um, a neutral pelvis, and what you want to do is try and take your hip bones forward one at a time. So I use my arms as levers. I bring them up here and I take my hip bone forward one at a time. So this hip bone here goes to the front, then this hip bone. Okay, so you should feel a nice stretch along the side of your body when you do this movement. So I'm going forward, 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 forward. There's no level change, so I want to try to prevent from dipping. So keeping my knees at the same level. They're unlocked, but they don't shift um, in level. Okay, so I'm going forward, 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 forward. Now let's just think about this hip bone here. Think about it going back, or think about this one going forward. One, two, three, four. So I'm going back on this side and forward on this side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. My arms prevent my whole body from going to the side as my hips go, okay? So it is a contraction of just the hips and the glutes. When I'm at an angle, I um, it's similar to like a hip drop or a hip lift. If you don't know what those are, I have other videos on those um, movements. But my posture is similar to um, when I'm about to do that movement. So I have both knees soft, so I'm bending both knees. I bring one foot in front of the other and I bring my heel up. I'm not sure if you can see my feet in the video, but I've brought one heel, heel up on the front leg, okay? Um, my feet can be quite wide apart, so if you're doing a hip drop or a hip lift, they're normally closer together. Here, you can widen the stance slightly. A lot of the weight is on the back leg. I'd say like 80% of your weight is on your back leg. So you can't stay here for too long because it really starts hurting your thighs and your quads. Um, you're going to take this hip bone back, just like we did on the front stance, okay? So spine really straight, elongate the torso, lift the chest slightly, and you're going back and back and back and back. So my belly button should go from an angle to you, angle to you. And everything is connected from the knee to the hip bone. I'm going side and side and back and back and back and back. The reason it's really important to maintain your posture is so that there's no level change. So what you don't want to do is this. Yeah? No dipping or dropping. It's not a hip drop, you want to differentiate the movements. So you're going back and back and back and back. And then you want to try it with a kick. So you can go back and kick and back and kick. And It's not an actual kick, it's more like a brush off the floor, but we call it kick. Okay? So I'll show you on the other side because that's, that's hurting now. So we go back and kick and then back and brush the foot off. Back and brush and back and then you can speed it up. Twist, 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 twist. If you're doing it correctly, you'll probably feel some muscle tension here, uh, which means that you're doing it right, okay? Um, it's a really good workout, really good for your muscles, uh, your abdominal muscles, your glutes, your thighs. Um, so try it out, try it with some music, it helps a lot. And let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.